Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the oil inside your gearbox. Yeah, if your gearbox is about 20 years old or you are going to ride 200,000 kilometers plus, then you are going to replace the oil in the gearbox body. There it is. The gearbox body is under this part. There is a Mm, there is a oil instruction, but this is too much work. We will go another way. First step, use supporting air wedges to mm, support your wheel on the back side, on the left and on the right side. So here, support it and this is safety first. Then you are going to lift up your Volvo on the left side. Take a look where is the arrow under your car and this is the point to go down with the lift with the car jack. Yeah, maybe use a little bit of rubber on top to prevent of damage. Good, now pump it baby. Lift up your car but First, you have to mm, unscrew the bolts at your wheels a little bit. Only mm, 20 centimeters rotation, that's enough. And take care, you have to um, pull the handbrake. Do not forget to pull the handbrake first, okay? Okay, now lift up your Volvo V70 to work on it. Safe or under it safe, of course. Yes, lift it up, baby. Oh, lift it up. And for another important thing, if you're working under your car, you have to take a second supporting um, unit under it. Have a look. Mm, this is a massive part. Let's try this. For example, you are able to use a rim too, of course. So now bring the jack and the supporting unit in one direction for more safety. Now it's safe to go under your car to make some oil changing process. Okay, now uh, rotate the bolts, left turn and loosen all bolts of your wheel because we have to go behind them, the left wheel on the front side of your car. Yeah, good job. Rotated left turn and now all bolts are loosened. Good job. Yeah, now extract the car wheel and let's have a look what is under it or behind it. Mm, there is a spring, okay. And there it is. Oh, the gearbox, good. And there is a bolt on the top side. This bolt we will loosen for a refill some oil. And there is another bolt on the downside. Yeah. And this is the place where the oil will come out. There it is. Let's have a look. This is out of the gearbox. Good. There is the bolt to let the or the oil out of your gearbox. Yeah, two spots. Good job. Yes, two spots are important for us in the future. So for prevention, open the mm, the inflating spots of your tank and place the tank under your gearbox extraction board. And for additional support, use a plastic bag on the bottom. Yeah, good job! Now we are going to open the upper board and after this we will open the board on the down side of the gearbox. Okay, let's start. Use a wrench and the nut to open the bolt on the on the upper side of your gearbox yeah rotated left turn 
and then use your fingers to open the board easy and smooth a little bit of oil will dip out as you can see in the next tank so take care the tank has to be under the car yeah yeah a little bit more and job's done yeah this is your indicator um, which level we will later refill our oil the Volvo V70 gearbox needs 2.1 liter of that oil that special oil of course now it's time for the bottom bolt use a wrench or this tool to open this bolt on the downside of the gearbox it's a 24 nut now rotate it left turn and then extract the oil inside the tank on the bottom yeah open and catch the screw or the bolt gentle and let the oil drain inside the tank yeah easy take care rotate left turn have a look down on the bottom and rotate it oh unscrew it baby oh yeah have a look that the seal is going out too and open the air um, the air lock of your tank as you can see that's better to drain inside good job now let the oil dip out let's go back to the side install the wheel back in position the tank is already under the car yeah on left side as you can see so now take the bolts back in position and assemble the wheel again why we will do that later oh yeah use the bolts to lock the wheel on the ground oh that's not good okay let's go all bolts are inside now tighten the bolts by using a tool rotate them yeah you do not have to use an torch wrench now because that's only a temporary installation of your wheel good job yeah easy as you can see the oil is dipping again now lift up your car a little bit and extract the supporting part now let the car down on earth to make a flat a balanced way so more gearbox oil will dip out of your gearbox now you have to wait a little bit about 20 minutes then the oil is going out of your uh, gearbox and the gearbox is empty nearly empty it's not all completed out but it's enough after 20 minutes oh yeah and have a look as you can see there it is it drains out good let it dip out a little bit longer about 20 minutes or 30 minutes maybe yeah now rest a little bit and enjoy your time that's enough to wait we are waiters for about 30 minutes now let's pump up your car again support it with a supporting unique under a massive part of your car to make safety first now bring back these two supporting parts in one level to work uh, safe under your car because we have to go back under your car okay let's disassemble all um, bolts of your wheels 
And now let's disassemble the wheel again. Let's go back to clean the oil, the dipping oil at your geobox and under your ge geobox. Wipe it a little bit. Good job with the toll because oil is not good for the nature. Yeah, now extract the oil um, tank, close it and go to recycle it. Yes, of course. Now clean the bottom side of your Volvo because of dipping oil under it. Use for this at all too. Good job. Now everything is clean again and we will go to assemble it back. Use a new seal for the bottom screw and <laughs> place the board back in position by your hand. This is important because there's no no space available as you can see but we did it now tighten the screw by hand hmm. it's not so easy to use a um, torch wrench there and now it's time to fill up your gear box with oil again yeah we will use that kind of oil we will need um, 2.1 liter of this um, SAE 75W-80 uh, 75 oil GL3+. Plus. Yeah, let's go. Um, place the oil um, bottle and press the oil back in the gear box. Uh, yeah, do this on the upper side, car, uh, not car, bolt, entrance, and let's fill another bottle because of 2.1 liters have to be inside your gear, gear box again, but you will um, see if the oil is coming out on your upper bolt uh, screw hole it's time to place the new board again here you are going to see it it's dipping out so now it's full with 2.1 liters of gearbox oil let's assemble the screw the upper screw or the upper screw use in the first step your hand to tighten it a little bit and after this use a torch wrench for this or before we will uh, we will um, we will tighten it we have to clean of course nature first of course yeah the oil is back in the gear box good job yeah let's go to tighten the screw use it an extension and a nut and as you can see we will use a torch wrench good job tighten the screw jobs done easy now the gearbox is full with oil and we are going to um, build back our parts reassemble the wheel now oh, yeah bring it back in position use the bolts to hold it again then tighten the bolts by hand after this tighten the bolts by using a tool of course as you can see this is in a crossway easy going reassembling yeah we are so proud to fixed our gearbox the gearbox oil uh, change you should uh, handle about 200,000 kilometers of your Volvo V70 or other cars because of the brands are saying it's 
uh, it's all um, um, lifetime filling inside but this is not really true because what is lifetime for a car is it 200,000 kilometers 300,000 maybe 500,000 so replace the oil about all 200,000 kilometers this so extract the supporting unique and bring back the car on the ground again yeah smooth and gentle good job as you can see easy handle we're going to bring this action to an end to a happy end of course now use a torch wrench to tighten the bolts of your wheel and after this you are ready to go back on the street again with a no new gearbox all inside your gearbox yeah do this um, cross line of course so thanks for watching please subscribe me oh yeah oh and give me a positive feedback and let's check the the gear box are oh, good smooth gentle okay thanks for watching please subscribe me give me a positive feedback and see you next time soon soon oh yeah good job